G'day there players and welcome to this quest. We find ourselves up in Delhi, playing against the Delhi Daredevils, now known as Delhi Capitals, and it's the first time that Mongoose Madness erupts on the international stage. I score 93 off 43 deliveries, and we won that match, but let me tell you, it wasn't without some really, really significant controversy and all sorts of questions were raised around not only the bat, which is a normal size bat with a truncated version of the blade and a much longer handle. Rightio, well let's roll up our sleeves and get into this story and uh, start sharing what happened on the day. The actual bat I used for the first time in 2010, as I mentioned, but let's rewind the clock because there's no way an international cricket like myself is going to go out and use a product for the very first time straight out of the bag. That just doesn't happen. So there was a lot of research, a lot of time and effort that went into not only the design of this bat, but the thinking behind it. So if I go right back to 2007 now, I was working with baseball coach Mike Young. And after the teams would go back to the hotels, Mike and I would stay and have nets together. He was feeding bowling machine balls and I was hitting with, not a cricket bat, but a baseball bat. And what that meant was that round on round, we were hitting balls 20, 30 metres further than any other cricket bat could. So when Mongoose as a company came to me and started to ask questions about my interest in a truncated blade bat with a longer handle. Longer handle means more leverage. Everyone talked about at the time Adam Gilchrist holding the, the handle of his bat right at the top to get extra leverage. Extra leverage meaning more length, so therefore more force. And then when you look at the other side of it being the truncated bat, it means less surface area and also less, uh, less wind uh, drag and, and faster bat speed. So you put those two combinations together and light bulbs were starting to go off in my mind. All I needed to do then was to trial how it is that these bats were performing. So I spent hours hitting thousands of balls and realizing the same or similar thing that happened with our uh, baseball bat uh, technique, balls were traveling miles. We're talking 20, 25 meters further. When players now talk about range hitting, what they're saying is that they understand that on any given day with a certain cricket bat, they can hit a certain range. How that relates in the middle is that if you've got an 80 meter boundary, as a player, you know that you can hit 85 meters. That's minus factors like the wind, the quality of the ball, the pace off the wicket. So when you're talking about a range, you're saying that I'm gonna hit with this given bat between 70 and 85 meters, say is your range. So then in the middle, in T20 cricket, you're assessing the risks because if you have to score at 11, 12 runs and over, that means that you've got to hit a couple of boundaries within that space of, of, of any given uh, ball or run rates required. So you need to understand risk and you need to assess those risks on the run. I want to show you from the archives uh, the bat that I use for Chennai Super Kings to score that 93 off 43. You can see here it's a normal length bat but it's got this huge, huge hitting plane here through the, the front of the bat. It's just wide and thick. It's grossly bigger than any other bat that, that was in my connection, and yet it's the same or similar weight. It also, because it's the same length of bat, it also meant that posturally I had to change nothing in my actual stance. Now that is key because of what they call muscle memory. If you're having to change everything, then the favor goes back to the bowler. So I had to change nothing other than the fact that in my head, I had to look down and I had only three quarters of the hitting surface. Now defensively, I would have a problem with that. 
But in T20 cricket, I'm not interested in defense. My only method is attack. And if you're going to score 100, 150 plus strike rate, your options, every ball become vital. And so it was with no hesitation that I used this bat. So all of these factors were really conclusive in me, not only trying this bat, but also having success with this bat. Because unless you can think you're going to be successful, there's no way that you're going to be successful. Now, there was great controversy over this bat for a number of reasons. Number one, the ICC had to approve it and had to sanction it, which they did. It has exactly the same uh, surface areas. When they put their calipers on it, it's, it's the same width as a normal bat. It, it doesn't exceed any regulations. There's no regulations around the thickness of the bat at the time. And of course, it's a normal length bat. In fact, if anything, the longer handle bats uh, would be more controversial. Guys like Mark Wall, for example, used inch, inch and a half longer um, handles than what a normal blade bat was. So it didn't break any of the ICC regulations. So the controversy wasn't there. The controversy came more inside the change room and I remember MS Dhoni saying to me before I went out to bat with this bat, says, hey, Doss, I'll give you anything that you want in life not to use this bat. And I said, MS, that's like a red rag to a bull, brother. <laughs> you know what? Trust me, I've been in this team now since conception in 2008. This is now our third season together. I would never, as you know, compromise the effectiveness of anything that I do on the cricket field. So believe me, this bat is something that I've rehearsed and practiced, I'm comfortable with, it's okay. All the interviews that I do, I would get asked in every one of those interviews, bar none, tell me about the mongoose. You know, why, what, why did you use it? What, what was it like? It, it just had such a great mystery around it. And I hope today that I've been able to share with you and demystify some of the rationale behind a professional cricketer looking at innovation in the game and looking at ways that you can actually shift the momentum of the game inside your favour using the traditional kind of methods within all the ICC regulations. And when you look at other sports, I'll give you two quick examples. Golf, huge hitting heads of their woods, stiff carbon fibre and graphite shafts um, you, you know, enormous distance for their drivers. And then when you look at tennis, you know, I used to use the old timber bats, when, or timber rackets when I was a, a kid. Now they're stiff shafts, big wide heads, you know, lots of changes within the sport. Cricket, in my view, needs to shift. It needs to, needs to really set the bar high and challenge itself. And that's why I've had so much fun inside the game as well because this is a great creative environment, you know, to be innovative and to, sh and to share different ideas. Yeah, 93 off 43 balls in probably one of my favourite innings in T20 cricket. I had so much fun. I took the punt and risk and I backed myself and that's why it came off.